<laughs> Wait, do you know what lights me up? The fact that people still use Skinny Pop and they don't use Smart Pop. Like, come on. Welcome back to my freaking YouTube channel. Okay, wait. Let's be honest. I'm not Coach Greg, but I do have his cookbook. So let me just get changed real quick. All right, that's a little better. Now I'm feeling like meat, so welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I will be talking about Greg Doucette's book, or as I like to call him, Daddy Doucette. See, my daddy, you decide. I'll, I'll leave it at that. So I've had Greg's book now for just over a month, actually. And I have to say, I'm super impressed with it. I've had sweets, I've had savory, I've had breakfast, lunch, dinner, the whole nine yards. And then if you add one more, that's 10 yards equaling a first down. If you know football, then word, I guess. That was kind of cringe. Back to the point though. So I've had Greg's book for over a month. It is honestly really good. I wish I was getting paid to say that, but I'm not. Like at the end of the day, I'm just a normal dude. I'm making a video about this for you to decide if it's good or if it's not good. So I've had anabolic lasagna. I've had sloppy Greg's, vegan sloppy Greg's, no Nutella French toast. So good, like that is game changer. If you've ever been to Cora's or I don't even know if that's Canadian or American, whatever. If you've ever been to Cora's though and you've gotten like a Nutella like wrap, like crepe, sorry. It's honestly just as good as that. I would have thought it's from there a thousand calories but it's not that's what blows my mind like greg takes these recipes that are normally super high in calories and makes them super low in calories not super low but you know what i mean like lower calorie options with higher protein and that's what's awesome and i've had every single rice cake the deli spiced chicken which is my favorite thing ever you have to try it i've also had the apple cinnamon dessert rice cake and also i've had i think i said anabolic lasagna i've had the mango chicken the like just so many like normal french toast obviously anabolic ice cream i had a cheesecake pumpkin ice cream that the iron musket created and it's in the cookbook that one was really good i have to say it was actually like i was kind of expecting like when I first read it, I'm like, okay, I'm making a cheesecake. Like this should be fire. And then it, I need, like read the ingredients, and, like instructions. I'm like, this is an ice cream, but I'm okay with it. Cause it was bomb. So Greg's book, super nice. Everything's like all of his like 200 recipes, whatever's in here. There's a lot of recipes. Yeah, 200 and like, yeah, like 200 recipes, something like that. But the thing about them, you can just click on it and it takes you right to it. Let's turn that aside though, so Greg doesn't hate me or something or try and sue me. But yeah, like super great cookbook, super easy to navigate through. Do I think the price is worth it? Absolutely, I really do. I think spending two hundred and like nineteen dollars Canadian, like with tax and everything, was one hundred percent worth it because at the end of the day, people go to coffee places get a coffee every single morning that's over a dollar this is under a dollar a day for a year but you keep it for life right and it just really blows my mind that people get stuck on a big purchase like this when they'll go just spend 40 bucks on lunch 50 bucks on dinner you get the point so it just really blows my mind and really hurts it when people are like, oh my God, like why would I waste all that money for that? Like, do it, buy the damn cookbook. If you want it, buy it. I'm here, I'm not here to tell you to buy it or not to buy it. I'm here to give you my honest opinion and it is good. My brother has already lost 30 pounds in oh, like almost like two months from eating like Greg said style. The circle diet, best diet. Um, for me, myself, I 
still eat things from the cookbook. I absolutely love the sloppy drags. I love the chicken or spicy chicken rice cake. And I just add those throughout my days here and there. But since I've watched Greg for so long, have his cookbook, I understand what to look for when I'm cooking. So I just kind of like come up with my own stuff or just totally use Greg's stuff. Like all of his stuff is great. My brother absolutely loves it. Currently he's at work, sadly. So he can't be in the video like last time, but he's working harder than last time. So it's been great. Even my whole family, actually, like I'm not going to sit here and lie. My family, we're not like skinny people, like we're bigger people. And even my family's like hopped on the circle diet train and they've like, they've enjoyed it from what I understand, you know, they really enjoy the Greg foods at the end of the day. We eat, we're Greek, we eat Greek food, but it's nice for them to also like have not Greek food, like traditional Greek food. So, and they've also started to learn to cook with cooking spray, not, you know, two tablespoons of oil. Okay, that looks about right. AK, there goes 500 calories of oil. So like, I remember on my last review, when I first got the cookbook, I made a review and people were absolutely flaming me in the comment section for making the rice cakes. But it's like, why are you flaming me? Like they're actually so good. And then they're like, oh my God, why would I buy this cookbook for someone to tell me to put chicken on rice cakes? It's not about that. I personally would have never thought to mix those ingredients with the chicken onto like to put on the rice cake. I wouldn't have. Personally, I wouldn't have. Like at the end of the day, I'm not saying Greg's book is like, oh my God, like these Gordon Ramsay recipes, because that's not what it's about. At the end of the day, his book is about eating healthier, eating in like lower calories, higher protein, so then you can achieve your goals for losing weight, building muscle, the whole nine yards. So that's where I get kind of annoyed with people because they'll be like, oh my God, why would I buy this cookbook to learn how to make French toast? Like, what are you saying? Like, what are you saying right now? Would you have actually thought to mix those ingredients to make French toast like that? Would you have thought to mix whatever, whatever, whatever for Greg's like Nutella, like wrapped French toast? No, I also wouldn't have. Even if you can find 10 recipes or five, or even three, or that just one recipe out of here, it's worth it. It really is. Because that's a recipe you can use for the rest of your life. It's gonna keep you honest with your diet. Keeps me honest with my diet. It really does. So overall, I don't wanna repeat myself too much. I don't want this video to be 10 years long. I personally think Greg's book is worth it after having it for a full month actually over a month, almost like two back to the point though. So I do truly believe Greg's book is worth it. Is it kind of steep at one time purchase? Kind of, but you have to like look at it like long term. I can have this book forever. Why not invest in yourself, invest in yourself $200 or whatever it is with whatever currency you're paying with. Why don't you invest that money in yourself right now and save yourself in the future? Get what I'm saying? I hope you do. So that pretty much wraps up the video though. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you guys leave a like. If you guys hated it, leave a dislike. It doesn't hurt me. If you guys wanna leave a comment, go for it. If you guys are new though, make sure to subscribe because I'm just a kid with a dream at this point, you know? So I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Also, watch my freaking videos. Yeah, peace.